Once upon a time there were two sages who lived in adjacent caves. They spent most of their time in deep meditation and would come out only when they had to arrange for food or meet their followers. They were highly respected. People used to travel long distances to seek guidance on all kinds of life problems and would feel blessed to be in their presence. No matter how serious the problem, they were always able to instill a sense of assurance and peace in everyone. As time passed, both of them started having dedicated followers who often got into arguments on who is more powerful. The arguments and disagreements increased when they started seeing a strange light coming out of one of the caves during some nights while the other cave remained dark. Those who witnessed it found it baffling. They tried hard to decode this mystery but could never really find out the cause behind. They also couldn't gather the courage to ask the sages directly. The visitors started feeling that maybe the one whose cave illuminates at night is more worthy and possesses some mysterious powers. One day, another great renowned sage arrived at a nearby village. Seeing it as an opportunity to clarify their doubts, some of these followers visited that village. When they met him, one of them asked, O oh great master we are from another village and have traveled all the way seeking answer to a question that has been bothering us for a while now please feel free to clarify all your doubts said the master thank you master actually in our village there are two sages who live out of a cave the sage interrupted them and said yes i know and you want to know about the light that comes from the cave isn't it yes that is true said the villager with a gentle smile the master said sometimes when a person dedicates one's life to walking on the spiritual path that is doing meditations and leading a focused life these kinds of phenomena occurs at times you could see some light or hear a sound and at times you might not see or hear anything but still feel a kind of energy that would be powerful and overwhelming it's also not necessary that people who emit such energies are always aware of it but such things does happen this is not unnatural in fact this is natural the more we awaken to our true self the more these wonders of the universe manifest through our own life The master thought he clarified their doubt but then one of them stood up and asked Great master could you please tell us if the sage living in the tunnel that emits light is more capable than the other The master grasped the level of their understanding out of compassion he decided to respond a bit sternly this time and said I know you follow those worthy sages and consider them as your guru or teacher but you must know that you are behaving like a fan and not a follower or disciple following a guru means following in their footsteps it means putting their words into action and dedicating yourself to a way of life that is in accord with their life following a mentor means to have the same purpose as your mentor everything else is insignificant the world outside is constantly changing and you might often experience things that would be difficult to comprehend instead of getting carried away you must focus on polishing yourself from within instead of just being amazed by the external phenomena you should strive to become a phenomena yourself you can all you need to do is determine to become the best disciple of your mentor and strive hard what you would experience then would be much more magnificent than what you see today outside transform yourself become an inspiration for others and bring glory not just to your own self but to your mentor as well